In this video, I'll be talking about identifiers. Identifiers are the names that identify elements, such as variables and functions in a program. Here are the rules. It can be a sequence of characters that consists of letters, digits, and underscores, so no special characters. It must start with a letter or underscore. It cannot start with a digit. It cannot be a keyword or reserved words in Python, such as import, or if you look at the Python library, these are the built-in functions. All these are being used, so you could not use any of these names. If you type in something and it turns a color, that usually means it's a reserved word or a keyword, and you can't use that as an identifier. It can be any length, and Python is case sensitive, so things like this would all be considered different for area. Um, this would be ideal. This one with all caps would be used for just a constant value that doesn't change throughout the program. And a capital beginning letter would be for a class, so you wouldn't really use that either. Um, this is called camel case right here, where the first word is lowercase and each consecutive word has starts with the uppercase letter. And that is my preferred way of doing it, because that's how you do it in a lot of other languages. But Python also has a convention that is very popular. So here's some examples. This is camel case. This is camel case, but it's abbreviated. You can even abbreviate, abbreviate it further. Sometimes I will abbreviate things, uh, as long as you can understand what it is that it's supposed to be. But generally speaking, this would be ideal, because it's very obvious what you're talking about when someone else is looking at your program. But this is the most common way in Python, actually, that you separate each word by an underscore. I don't do it that way just because it, it makes everything longer, and I just like camel case better. So in my course, I'll be using camel case, but um, you will see this definitely if you stick around and use Python a lot. These are examples of things that don't work. So you can't have a number beginning your um, identifier. Let's see, if I get rid of that, the red X goes away. And, but you can start with like an underscore. And there are cases where you use underscores specifically, which we'll get to later on in the course. Here we have these special characters, so that's why this one is not working. You cannot use special characters. And then same thing here, these are like almost all special characters, so this just won't work. So it's identifiers. Just follow those rules and you'll be fine.